Namaste and welcome back. Let's solve the given question. Taking LHS first, where we have 10 square A divided by 10 A minus 1 plus cot A divided by 1 minus 10 A. Now, first of all, we write the first fraction as same. That is 10 square A divided by 10 A minus 1. And in the second fraction, we make a small change. First, writing numerator at same. And in the denominator, we take minus common. Doing that, we can reverse 10 a and 1. And 1 minus 10 a can be written as 10 a minus 1. Now in the next step, once again, we copy the first fraction same. And in the second one, we make change first with the sign where this plus and this minus gets multiplied and we can write minus in between these two fractions. Also, this cot A can be written as 1 by 10 A from the formula. That's the simple. That is cot A is equal to 1 by 10 A. So we do the same here where 10 A goes to the denominator and gets multiplied with 10a minus 1 that was already existing. Now, taking LCM of the denominator of both the fractions, we can write 10a minus 1 as the common factor and this 10a is the remaining factor, so we need to write that too as the part of the LCM. Now, following the process of LCM, we can write in the numerator side as 10 square a into, and this 10a gets multiplied with the first component of the numerator minus. 1 and there is nothing to multiply with this one as the denominator of this one and LCM are same. So after this, multiplying 10 square A and 10 A, we write as 10 cube A minus and expressing this one as the same power of the first term, we can write. 1 cube as that can be done. And LCM, we copy the same in denominator. Now after this, we can change this 10 cube A minus 1 as in the formula A cube minus B cube is equal to A minus B in the first bracket and A square plus AB plus B square in the second bracket. So we do the same here and write that as 10 A minus 1 in place of A minus B. And in place of A square, we write 10 square A as we have 10 A in place of A. And then plus in place of a into b, we have 10a into 1, which can be written directly as 10a plus. In place of b square, we can write 1 square, and that can be directly written as 1, as 1 square has the same value as 1. We'll divide by 10a as the first part of the denominator and 10a minus 1 as the second part. As we see common in the numerator and denominator, 10a minus 1, 
so that can be cancelled from the both sides. And the remaining one is 10 square A plus 10 A plus 1 whole divided by 10 A in the next step. Now, as we know that this 10 A is the denominator of the whole numerator. There are three components in the numerator side and whenever necessary, we can separate this 10 A to each of the terms. So doing the same, we can write the next step as 10 square A divided by 10 A separately plus doing the same, the second component of the numerator 10 A divided by the denominator once again, plus one by 10 A in the same way. Now, as you see, there are double 10 A in the numerator side of the first fraction, so canceling one 10 A from each numerator and denominator, we get only a single 10 A from the first fraction and cancelling 10 A from both sides of the second fraction, we get only one as the remaining. And this third term or the third fraction can be expressed in the form of cot A by the formula. Cot A is equals to 1 by 10 A. So we change this 1 by 10 A as cot A here. Let's arrange this by keeping one separately first and then 10 A plus cot A. Now we can express 10 A as sin A by cos A or from one of its formula. And in the same way, this cot A can also be written as cos A by sin A. Once again, we take LCM between the second and the third term. So we get LCM of cos A and sin A as cos A into sin A. Let's write that in the denominator. And following the LCM method, this sin and this sin A gets multiplied and the product will be sine square A plus in the same way when this cos A and cos A gets multiplied, that will be equal to cos square A. As we know, sine square A plus cos square A is equal to one from the basic formula of trigonometry. So first of all writing, this one as same, we convert sine square A plus cos square A in the formula and write it as one. Whole divide by cos A into sine A. That's in the denominator side. Once again, we copy the first term one as same plus and as we know, this one by cos A can be expressed in the form of sec A. So we do the same. And in the same way, multiplying this numerator by one and expressing one by sine A in the form of cosec A, we write cosec A. And which is the required right hand side in this question. So here comes the result. 
and we prove the given equation. Thank you for the time given in my channel. See you in the next learning video. Take care. Bye bye.